Hi everyone, I'm Ian and welcome to this crack maths tutorial on how to calculate compound interest. Okay, so in order to do this, um, we're going to be using a calculator method um, because this is all, pretty much always a calculator topic. And we're going to be using the method that relies on percentage decimal equivalent multipliers. Okay, so you may recall this from previous lessons on percentage, um, but I'm only going to be teaching this method because often in the exam you've got a limited amount of time and although there are multiple ways of doing this question, if you end up doing this question one of the other ways, it can often end up wasting a lot of your time that you have to use. So I really want to focus on using this one method for this topic, okay? Um, here we go. So let's have a look at a question here. So I've got a question that says, compound interest is applied at 6% to a sum of £1,000. How much is it worth after five years? So compound interest means to continuously increase by the percentage, but you're not increasing the amount that you start with, you're increasing the amount that you have at the start of each year. So if I have compound interest, I'm going to be looking at adding 6% onto my £1,000 for year one. And then I'll have a new amount of money because at the end of year one, I've got 6% more. So then what I'm going to do is when I add my 6% on for the next year, I'm adding it onto the amount of money that I had at the end of year one. And then I'm going to do that for the second year. I'll add it onto the amount that I've got at the end of year two, and then for the third year, at the end of year three, end of year four, and so on. So compound interest just means that it's it's basically how interest works. If you think about your bank, if you think about if you ever had a loan or anything, compound interest is large. This is how, how interest works. So this idea of regular interest, simple interest, I don't really know where it happens, but compound interest is how interest works for your bank account. So let's have a look at this. So compound interest is applied at 6% to a sum of £1,000. How much is it worth after five years? So if you remember, if I want to increase an amount by 6%, essentially I'm looking for 106%. Okay. So if I'm looking for 106%, I need to find my percentage equivalent decimal multiplier. So remember, every percentage has an equivalent decimal. It doesn't matter if the percentage goes above 100, it still has an equivalent decimal. And you find it in the same way, you find that by dividing it by 100. So if I want 106% and I want to find the equivalent decimal, I do 106 divided by 100. So 106 divided by 100. And that equals 1.06. Now that I've got 1.06, I have my multiplier. So any number that I multiply by 1.06, I'm going to increase by 6%. Okay, so what I do now is if I've got my starting value here, I invested £1,000. Now, if I want to increase that once by 6%, I times that by 1.06. But then if I want to increase that again, I just simply times by 1.06 again. And then if I want to do that again, I times it by 1.06 again. And because I want to do that for five years, I just do this five times. So there we go. So I've done 1000 multiplied by 1.06 five times. OK, so I'm going to work out what that equals. And that equals 1,338 pounds. 0.225, which would set round up to 23. So how much is it worth after five years? It would be £1,338.23. Right, now, I could have done this a different way. As we can see, I did do 1,000 times 1.065 times. Now, in the last tutorial, we learned about indices. Now, indices tell us how many times we're multiplying something by itself. So what I could have done was I could have done 1000 multiplied by 1.06 to the power of 5. 
And that would give me the same answer. You might think that's quicker, you might think it's longer, you might not have a calculator that allows you to do that. But if you do, that's a nice trick that you can do. Right, let's look at another question. Compound interest is applied at 3.5% to a sum of £1,200. So 3.5%, so we're increasing the sum by 3.5% each year, which means at the end of each year, we're gonna have a sum of 103.5%. So now, if I know that I'm looking for 103.5%, I need to find my percentage decimal equivalent multiplier. So I'm gonna do 103.5 divided by 100, and that equals 1.035. So now, I've got my percentage decimal equivalent multiplier that I can use to increase any value by 3.5%. So the value they've given me is 1,200. So I want 1,200 times 1 1.035 times 1 1.035 times 1.035 times 1.035. And that equals 1,377 pounds and three pence to the nearest penny. Now remember, I didn't need to write down 1.035 four times, I could have simply done 1,200 times 1 1.035 to the power of four. But I did write it out because I know not always people have calculators that allow you to do to the power of four, and it's always good to remember what that means. Right, let's have a look at question three, and then we'll look at a, a scenario question. So here we go, question three says, Compound interest is applied at 8% to a sum of £2,500. How much is the sum worth after two years? Okay, so here we go. So we want an 8% increase this time. So therefore, if, a, if an amount increases by 8%, we're ending up with 108%. So therefore, we're looking for the percentage decimal equivalent multiplier for 108%. So remember, the equivalent decimal is just the percentage divided by 100. So 108 divided by 100, let's have a look, 1.08. So there we go, we've got 1.08, that's our multiplier. Anything we multiply by 1.08 will increase it by 8%. So it's only two years this time, so we only need to increase it twice. So I'm going to do 2,500 times 1.08 times 1.08 and that gives me 2916. Now remember you could have written times 1.08 squared that would be fine as well because remember the squared means we're multiplying by this thing twice. Okay um, so here we are at the scenario questions I just had a look through there's nothing particularly different to the practice questions but let's do one here so I'm looking at question six and it says if £50,000 is invested at compound interest rate of 10% a year, what will be the accumulated value after eight years? So, that, so that's a, a lot of years. So we're looking at a 10% interest rate this time. So that means at the end of each year, you're going to have 110%. So that means we want the decimal equivalent multiplier for finding 110%. So remember, we do 110% divided by 100. So I'm going to do that on my calculator, 110 divided by 100, so that equals 1.1. So we now know that anything that we multiply by 1.1 will be increased by 10%. So the value is 50,000, so we've got 50,000 times 1.1, and I cannot be bothered to write this in eight times, so I'm going to go to the power of eight, and here we go, we've got our answer, and this time it's gonna be 107,179.44. Okay, great, thank you very much for watching. I hope that was useful, and I will see you in another tutorial. So long.